we are hearing from loved ones after a security guard was shot and killed while on the job at Doral City Place. Seven other people also shot outside the packed martini bar Saturday morning. Local Tens Rosh Lil is live with what we've learned. Rosh. Well, the story has impacted so many people from the family of that security guard. There's a police officer who was injured in this case. There are at least three people still in the hospital, a husband, a wife, and her brother. And then there are the families at home praying that everyone will recover. I just want to hug him one more time. But he can't. I would just want to see him one more time and just say that I, I love him. Miguel Castellanos mourning the loss of his older brother, 23-year-old George Castellanos. Of course, smiling, like always smiling, and he was um, holding me when I was one or two. Castellanos was a security guard who was fatally shot while working at the Doral Martini Bar early Saturday. Castellanos was attempting to break up a fight that broke out among customers 30 minutes before closing time when one of them shot and killed him. Why, why would he have a, a gun in that form? Like, it, it was for like something so so not serious. A second security guard also intervened and was shot in the hand. He survived. Officers from Doral PD responding within seconds where they confronted the alleged gunman, 37-year-old Jamal Wayne Wood. Wood shot and killed by police while one officer was shot in the leg. During the shootout, six other innocent bystanders were hit. Investigators later recovering 22 9mm spent shell casings and seven spent casings from a 40 caliber weapon. He was always smiling. He was always just happy. He was always just, always trying to help people. Castellano's family now making plans to care for his one-year-old daughter. He got the job to, to help her. She meant a lot to him. He was, uh, he really, since he would, he would do everything for her. So as I mentioned at the very start of this story, so many people are impacted. As I also mentioned, we try to get some of these survivors to come on camera, but they are still recovering and family, they're praying for them. Outside Jack's Memorial Hospital, I'm Rosh Lowe, Local 10 News. Rosh, thank you.